ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Now I want to speak on this whole Dr. Umar and Nick Cannon situation. So if you guys do not know, um, Dr. Umar went to talk to Nick Cannon about, I guess, his one black daughter and her, you know, potentially facing colorism as she gets older. And so they're talking about this here. So we're gonna go ahead and watch this video. This went viral on social media. When Princess Onyx grows up with her siblings, right. you're gonna have to have a conversation along yes. with their mothers yes. about colorism. 100%. As someone who grew up in a home with a dark sister who was right. darker than me, beautiful, but my older sister was darker. Right. I saw how she suffered mm. some of the pangs of colorism within my extended family. 100%. So when Onyx gets to the age where she begins to recognize race mm -hmm. and brother Nick Cannon has to have that conversation uh, with her mother and the mothers of your other children and your children, your family. Right. You're going to have to have this conversation. And when you start explaining to Onyx that your blackness is in no way a sin or a curse. It's a blessing it's a and blessing. a power. Right? Absolutely. When she reflects back to you. Her name is Onyx for a reason. Absolutely. <laughs> right. It's black power, actually. Yeah. But when she reflects back to you as her father and say, well, dad, if this color is all that great, how did you end up to reproduce so many children with women who are not? Okay. Let me come back on the screen here. So. Uh, you guys just heard what Umar Johnson had to say about Nick Cannon's one dark skinned daughter. And, you know, I saw a lot of people like, you know, agreeing with Umar. I don't think he said anything wrong. But can we have a real conversation here? First of all, Nick Cannon wasn't listening. He wasn't interested in this conversation. Let's just keep it real. All that, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you can tell when somebody's really listening with their ears, digesting the information and really taking it to heart with their hearing. Nick Cannon was doing none of that, okay? He was nodding his head and saying, yeah, but he wasn't listening. My thing is this, I don't, the, the, the thing with Nick Cannon is people keep pussyfooting around the real issue. Colorism is not the real issue here. Can we have a real conversation? I see a lot of dark skinned women cheering this shit on and it's silly. Colorism is not the root of this issue, right? I don't give a damn if he had 15 kids that were all the same color of a lek wek. He could have 15 dark skinned kids. Who gives a shit if his kids are light, dark, mixed? The issue at hand that everybody wants to walk around the elephant in the room is that this weirdo, okay, won't stop knocking up women and creating broken homes. Can we have that conversation? Like, again, I don't think Umar said anything wrong, but if Umar really wants to have a real conversation with Nick, he needs to talk about these broken homes that Nick Cannon is creating, okay? Obviously, these women, they don't get along. When even like his, his uh, Easter pictures came out, they were on the shade room, and he was dressed as a bunny, which is very ironic because he fucks like a rabbit. So he's dressed like a bunny rabbit, and he's taking pictures at all these different homes with these children. And the one kids, I think it was the, the kids he has with Abby, De La Rosa, I don't know. But none of the kids look happy. They, like I said, and even the older ones, they didn't even bother to get dressed, child. Mariah Carey's kids still had on sweat outfits. They're like, he's just here for a photo op. They, they just didn't look interested. One of the girls, one of the light-skinned baby mamas, I think was Abby. If you look, all the kids had sour faces. The one baby was crying. None of them looked like they even, like, fooled with him like that. There was, like, no energy, no, you know, arms around dad. It, it just, it's just, it wasn't giving me anything, Okay. And I believe the reason why Umar Johnson doesn't want to have the real conversation with Nick Cannon, why it's easier for him to talk about colorism, you know, to pacify, you know, dark skinned women, um, is because Umar's in the same boat, okay? It's easier for him to go the colorism route because Umar Johnson himself has, I know he has a minimum of two kids with two baby mamas. 
He's created two broken households. He didn't marry either one of his baby mamas. Now, somebody said he has a third child. I don't know. I haven't verified that. He may have a third child. Y'all can let me know. But I know for a fact he has two daughters by two different women, and he married neither one of the he married neither one of the mothers. So that so y'all got to understand. Y'all get hyped about the minuscule stuff. I don't care about this colorism conversation. We've talked about, we can talk about colorism till we're blue in the face. It doesn't matter if he has a whole bunch of light-skinned kids, dark-skinned kids. The, the, the biggest issue in the situation is that he has a bunch of kids by a bunch of different women and a, in a bunch of different households. And these kids are not even grown up as siblings. And he's doing these weird photo ops. And that's really, that means nothing. And then you have idiots in the comment section of the shade room saying, oh, he's such a good dad. You got some dads who don't even go see their kids for Easter. So we're praising people for doing what they're supposed to do. So we're supposed to like praise him because he decided to go see all of his kids for Easter. That's the least he should do. Why do we praise mediocrity? Imagine as a mother getting praised because you woke up and made breakfast. Oh, what a great mom. She cooked breakfast for her kids. Bitch, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to feed your children. He should be there on Easter. He should see his children. That doesn't make him a good father because he chose to go see all of his kids on Easter. That's not parenting. A good father would want all his kids in one household. So he's there for them from the time they get up. Gets them ready, gets them prepared for school or daycare, just whatever. That is a good father. A good father is in the house home. He's not playing Rolling Stone. So I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. So I just felt like, you know, a lot of people were like running with this conversation. Like, you know, like Umar was the best thing since sliced bread. And I get what Umar is saying. But for me, I'm not impressed by this at all. The conversation should be deeper. The conversation should be another man holding another man accountable for why he is continuing to create broken homes. But again, Umar's the wrong messenger for that. So he has to go the colorism route to appease dark-skinned black women as opposed to the real conversation. But he can't have that real conversation because he, he, he too has created broken homes and hasn't married anybody but yet wants to preach to young black men about marriage and, you know, having children with black women. I mean, both his baby mama, mamas, from what I've seen, are black. But again, I don't know if there is a third. I've just heard that there's a third, you know. So I just find that interesting. Yes, he was definitely pandering to black women, particularly dark-skinned black women. And I just see through the bullshit. I'm not impressed at all. And Nick Cannon obviously didn't care. You know, for him, it was just another episode on his podcast. So I, I don't know. I just think he's trash. The whole conversation was just very superficial. Just like what, um, what's her name? Uh, Ayana Van Zant. you know, her, you know, catering to him and pampering him. And, oh, you know, the black community doesn't appreciate what you do for the black community. No, we, we, the black community wants to know why you keep knocking people up and creating broken homes. And then in the same breath, you want to talk to us on some woke shit. I don't want to hear any mush mouth woke shit when your life is not in order. It's just that simple. Live your life, you know what I'm saying? Have your macho baby mamas, but stop preaching to us about what we need to do. Because it's, it's an oxymoron at this point. So, I, so for me, I wasn't impressed. I wasn't impressed at all by Mr. Umar Donations Johnson. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.